The Trump administration and the FCC are trying to unravel the world as we know it. Now, luckily, the FCC voting against net neutrality isn't the end all to be all. We still gotta go to court. But if the FCC wins in court and they destroy net neutrality, the internet will be changed forever. At this point, I'm really trying to laugh to keep from damn crying. And for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure your biggest question is, what is net neutrality? How will this possible overturning affect you? And I'm gonna give you a couple simple actions that you can carry out today and every day until they make the final decision. Okay, so what is net neutrality? This is the example that I've been given. Think of the internet like a super highway where data is allowed to go back and forth freely with no restrictions and no tolls. And if you choose to have the internet in your home, the only toll you would have to pay is your monthly internet service fee. So the web with net neutrality pretty much keeps the internet a free place where people can do what they want, when they want, like they're doing now. Now on the contrary to that, if the FCC wins in court and they destroy net neutrality, the internet will be broken down in a similar format to cable packages. So in the most basic sense, you'll be paying for apps and services that were meant to be free, paying double for apps and services that you're already paying for on top of your monthly internet service fee. Moreover, your internet provider can prevent you from accessing certain websites and information. Your provider will be able to slow your internet speed down and force you to buy a faster connection. They can also enforce data caps. Let's just say for the month, your data cap is 50 gigabytes. If you go over 50 gigabytes, they can attach more space to your cap, but they can automatically charge you for that space and you won't know until you get your bill. Let's make this a little bit more tangible for the binge watchers, for the streamers out there. You would have to pay a gateway fee just to get access to Hulu and Netflix. Not to use the service, an extra gateway fee just to get access to it. So for the sake of this example, let's just say Netflix is $10 per month and the access fee for the video streaming package is $10 per month. That would literally double what you pay for Netflix every year, going from $120 to $240. When it comes to social media, all the artists, the content creators, the musicians, the Instagram models who promote tummy tea, you would have to pay monthly fee to access Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. As a result, it will be that much harder to get people to see your product and support it. Who's gonna pay for social media? And yes, we may indeed have to pay to look for jobs because LinkedIn is a part of social media. For the gamers, you're paying $60 a year for PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live. Imagine paying another $180 on top of that. Goodbye, Mad. Goodbye, 2K. Goodbye, Ratchet Online Grand Theft Auto. If you wanna stream music, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, you can be charged an extra $60 a year or more just to access those services. If any of this sounds insane to you, if you feel like we're in the beginning, beginning of George Orwell's book, 1984. I encourage you to go to battleforthenet.com, fill out the form, and follow the directions. Or you can directly use the number that they give you at battleforthenet.com. 202-759-7766. And lastly, if your state congressmen support net neutrality, vote to keep them in office. If you've taken the time to watch this, I sincerely appreciate it. Share it with your family, share it with your friends. And as always, we got more movie reviews coming your way. And we got more book reviews coming your way. And we got more of that random stuff coming your way. I'm in the bathroom.